Hi Air Signs, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising and those cross watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to explore where is this connection headed? So where are things going between you and your person? Where do they stand? Is there a future or are things about to hit a bit of a dead end? It is going to be a general reading, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. I would like for you to take a moment and focus on your romantic energy. And we want to see where exactly are things headed between you and your special person. Okay, bear with me. Okay, it's too many cards. Okay, I'm actually drawn to the two of wands here in your reading because I feel like there's going to be an absolutely important decision that is going to have to be made. Um, and that I feel like is really going to determine where the direction in which this connection takes off. Okay, now five of wands does depict uh, a conflict in your energy. So I don't know if some of you listening are in the midst of a conflict of some sort, a disagreement, a disconnection, a discord, an argument, um, a misalignment, out of sync energy with one another. So there's this stress, a conflict here. There may be opposition from connecting energy. So there could be people around you who are opposing your connection with one another. Like it could be family members. Maybe, you know, family members on their side are saying, you, you know, this connection, um, is not going anywhere or it's best for you just to leave things so someone he feels as though it's it could be opposed yeah they feel as though there's an op like it feels like it's an opposition and someone is opposing your connection and i feel like that has somewhat an, of an influence on your person or on you because it is directly impacting you okay and because it's a close connecting energy what they say matters so this person is somehow they are processing it on some level here whether consciously or subconsciously the Queen of Pentacles tells me that some of you are in a strong position to make a choice or you're going to be put in a position here in the future uh, where you're going to have to make a choice or a decision and that's going to determine the direction that this connection takes in. Uh, the Queen of Pentacles also tells me that someone here holds a very high standards from, for themselves and they hope for someone who is able to meet those standards and also return, you know, um, reciprocates so it's like high level of standards dedication commitment as ambition but and if this is your energy you're wanting to attract a similar type of energy you want someone whom is equally going to hold you to high standards in the connection here and i feel like for a lot of you you felt as though you've met your match in this individual right you've met your match um so the queen of pentacles tells me that you know at one point or another perhaps now or in the future, that you will be enjoying a very stable, a very prosperous and fruitful connection. Or um, there's going to be a time in which your connection is going to prosper. There's going to be a lot of stability, a lot of consistency, okay, a lot of prosperity as well. Some of you are even going to enjoy making your home welcoming for this person. So I'm not sure if you're going to welcome this person into your home or if they're going to stay with you or if you're going to move together and feather your own nest um, but I feel like you're going you're in a you're going to be or you are in a wonderful position where I feel like you've truly manifested this person into your life here now I did talk about a conflict it could be existing now or it if it hasn't happened for you, then there is going to be an upcoming conflict of some sort, a disagreement, which I feel like is going to bring several issues to the surface, okay? And um, I feel like it's really going to be a metaphor for what's really 
um, you know, what's really bothering you or what's really um, burdensome to this connection. Okay, it's like, see how all the five uh, men here are at battle with one another? And it feels like they're all trying to, the way that they're trying to resolve this dispute is just by attacking each other and just, you know, bashing each other with these wands, which isn't, um, which isn't all that... I mean, it's it's like, it's not helping the problem, it's only adding to the problem, because if they just stopped and were patient enough with each other to listen to, you know, what each other is saying, then they all could be heard. But no one here is listening. So to me, it feels like much of your quarrels and much of your arguments here is just by by needing to take that step, that first step in initiating communication, initiating conversation here. Okay, so that you can air something out. So if you are in the midst of battles here, you might need to be the first to initiate here an apology or initiate a conversation in which you can really air out your problems or your grievance with one another here. Because by doing that, you'll be addressing the problem, but you'll also be um, hearing each other out. You will feel like you're heard as will they feel like they're heard. And after that, I feel like, off the heels of the five of wands I see an important decision is going to make because I feel like you're going to have all the information that you need um, in order to make a decision okay because everything is going to be aired out everything is going to be out in the open and you you know you have this decision to make do you stay or do you leave do you work on this or do you leave it you know do you put an end to this Okay, it's going to be a very important decision, but the two of wands is an energy where, notice how there's two wands, and it's like, he's, he's contemplating his decision, it's a card of planning, thinking, making decisions, but it feels like he's taking a lot into account here, a lot of what has happened, a lot of the history, um, and he's sort of really pondering his decision here, and what is the best um, way to move forward here, so... To me, it feels like, for a lot of you, it feels like you'll be making the right decision for you, okay? The right decision that will benefit you and that will benefit your romantic uh, interest as well. Because to me, the cards denote travel with regards to your connection. So for those of you that are doing long distance in this connection here, I feel like you potentially might be traveling to meet your person or your person might be traveling to meet with you. It could be that you might be organizing a trip together where you can, you know, it's a change of scenery, you travel and you're just spending um, alone time with one another and you're really getting to know each other here. So I do see, I do see travel in your cards. A very nomadic energy, the full, the page of ones in, in conjunction here with the two of ones as well. It could also maybe telling us, it could be hinting out that the connection here is going to move. Okay, it could indicate forward momentum, movement, progression, accelerating things, progressing things here. The other thing I want to mention is that some of you do or will have stiff competition around you. You may be facing competition in the area of this connection. And it feels like you're not quite used to it because to me it feels like the the ones, the energy of the ones here, um, illicit energies of like illicit feelings of jealousy, envy, greed, okay, a bit of anger, hurt here, so accept the competition maybe as a way to improve yourself or as a way to, you know, just really test the strength of your uh, connection perhaps. Um, I am seeing that yeah, the star and the fool is interesting here. Because this is healing after a period of turmoil, turbulency, destruction here. So it's also a card of faith, hope and purpose. So keep the faith. I feel like if the two of you really believe in this connection, okay, if the two of you really believe that what you have is real and what you have is pure, um, you know, if you really trust in yourself and if you trust in your person and if you trust in the connection here, then I feel like, the star card here in combination with the Queen of Pentacles tells me that the two of you will continue to nurture this connection, okay? To nurture and even revive things here.
I'm also seeing a renewed sense of hope for some of you and a renewed sense of uh, faith as well. There's going to be a time of significant growth for you as an individual, for them and for this connection as well. Okay, and it feels like it's going to add to your growth and your personal development here. And it feels like the two of you are going to reach a stage where you're ready to work on each other or you're ready to work on this connection and to accelerate things here as well. Um, some of you, I feel like, are going to be leaving the past behind. So if you guys have had a troublesome history, if you've had your you know, turmoil or your turbulency with each other here, I feel like you're going to um, release any past pain, hurt, or anything that's sort of weighing you down. And you're going to rediscover a new sense of meaning, inspiration, new feelings here for each other and for this connection. So it's like this transformation transformative energy it's bringing it's transforming yourself in the connection from old to the new that's what it feels like there's also a sense of like a sense of alchemy or magic flowing through you and sort of flowing around you i feel like your heart is going to be full of hope and I feel like your spirits are definitely going to be uplifted because you're going to see the potential that this connection holds. And they will be able to identify that too. So if things are dark right now, things are going to be, uh, you know, the lights here, will the stars will come out and they will definitely shine away. Okay, so I definitely feel like this person will be, it feels like, the message that I get is they're right here waiting for you. So if you are at a disconnection or, you know, if you have this five of ones conflict going on, I feel like this is someone who's going to wait for you and you're going to wait for them. And I feel like you and this connection is going to reach the highest of highs. That's what it feels like, the highest of highs. Okay, you'll experience your lowest of lows. And perhaps that's why, you know, you'll need to experience that so that this connection could reach that highest of highs. So much so in a way that you'll feel like you'll feel so uplifted uh, in a way that you'll also feel like it's possible for you to reach the stars. OK, so a very special connection here, very special um, healing connection. Alright guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Um, I will be sharing with you more tarot love messages, so stay tuned. Bye for now.